In this video, we'll be going over some basics of centrifugal pumps. What is a centrifugal pump? It is a device that moves fluids by mechanical action by taking a rotational kinetic energy and converting that to hydrodynamic energy, fluid flow and pressure. How do centrifugal pumps work? Fluid enters through the intake and goes into the center of the impeller, the impeller being the blades that spin inside the pump. The impeller is spinning in such a way that forces the fluid to the outside edge where the outlet is positioned. This causes an area of low pressure at the pump intake, which causes the atmospheric and static pressure at the intake to push the fluid into the pump. One of the limitations of this pump is that the intake pressure can never be lower than the vapor pressure of the fluid. If this happens, then the fluid will cavitate or boil and cause damage to the pump components. So now let's talk about series and parallel pump systems. If we place multiple pumps in series, we can increase the amount of pressure at the final outlet. So pumps in series cause greater pressure. If we place multiple pumps in parallel, we can increase the volumetric flow rate at the pump system outlet. Or in other words, pumps in parallel will cause a greater increase in volume leaving the pump system over time. To finish off this video, let's talk about shutoff head. This is the point at which fluid is no longer flowing due to all the kinetic flow energy being converted into potential energy or lifting energy. You can think in terms of throwing a ball up in the air. You can only throw a ball so high before it comes back down again. Similarly, the centrifugal pump can only throw the water so high up in the air. This is the max head or shutoff head of the pump. That concludes this video. Hope that I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.